Shocking scenes unfolded in Kenya this week as protests against proposed tax hikes turned deadly. Demonstrators overwhelmed police and stormed the parliament building, setting parts of it on fire. In response, President William Ruto has vowed a crackdown on what he called violence and anarchy. Let's break down the latest developments with our Africa correspondent. The protests began peacefully, with thousands taking to the streets in Nairobi and other cities to voice their opposition to the government's tax proposals aimed at addressing Kenya's substantial debt burden. However, the situation took a dramatic turn on Tuesday when police resorted to live ammunition, resulting in violent clashes and the storming of the parliament complex. Shocking footage showed protesters breaching the parliament barricade and entering the compound. The interior of the building was left in disarray, with burnt remnants and shattered windows visible. Rights groups have reported at least five fatalities and over 30 injuries from the police crackdown. In a late-night address, President Ruto condemned the violence and vowed to take a tough line against what he termed violence and anarchy. He likened some of the protesters to criminals and accused them of hijacking the tax debate for their own agenda. Ruto praised the police for their defense of Kenya and its people and promised swift action against what he called treasonous events. The government has also deployed the military to assist the police in addressing the security emergency. The unrest in Kenya has drawn international concern, with the White House and several Western nations expressing shock and appealing for calm. The African Union also voiced deep concern over the loss of life and emphasized the need for restraint from all parties. Opposition leader Raila Odinga criticized the government's use of excessive force, labeling it as an attack on the youth of the nation who are simply demanding basic needs like food, jobs, and a voice in governance. The protests stem from long-standing grievances over the high cost of living in Kenya, exacerbated by the proposed tax increases. While Kenya boasts a vibrant economy, a considerable portion of its population grapples with poverty, highlighting the underlying social and economic challenges that have fueled the recent unrest, despite some concessions from the government, such as scrapping proposed taxes on bread, cooking oil, car ownership, and financial transactions, the protesters remain unsatisfied. They are demanding the entire finance bill be withdrawn and have broadened their demands to include President Ruto's resignation. The situation in Kenya remains tense, with the government vowing a crackdown on violence and the opposition calling for restraint and dialogue. The protests have exposed the deep-seated economic and social challenges facing the country, and it remains to be seen how the government will navigate this crisis while addressing the legitimate concerns of its citizens. It's clear that the situation in Kenya is extremely volatile, with the government taking a hard-line stance against the protesters. We will continue to monitor the developments in Kenya and provide updates as the story unfolds.